Can you guess what I'm doing today? <laughs> I'm gonna take the mower deck off, change out the belt on that, and sharpen the blades. I have to take the generator cover off, swap out the generator belt, and I'm also gonna change the drive belt. All right, let's get to it. Let's start with the easiest job, the generator belt. And of course, I brought out a bunch of tools and I did not bring out a 7 16 wrench. I'll be right back. You see that tab? When the, the head of the bolt is in there, you can't get anything closed around it because the cover is in the way. And look at that, we're at the belt. And that's that pulley I have to replace. You know what? I'm going to open the hood on this. Just so I don't end up damaging the paint. Accidentally hitting it. Now we're going to have to slide this way forward. Because that new belt is a lot shorter than this belt. It looks like that's about as far as it's going to go. This belt is the main reason I'm replacing the belts. This was slipping like crazy and it's just worn out. That looks a lot bigger than this one. It is much bigger. That's good though, because the generator was maxed out. It was adjusted as far as it could go to get this as tight as I could and it was still loose. Can you see that? They did put something neat on this. If you lose the belt, you can pull the cover off or the gen generator goes bad. And you can wrap a rope around this and pull start it. Uh, it's not an easy one to pull start though because of this being so big, it turns it over very slowly. Well, look at that, I can tighten it up right there at the bottom. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> that bolt tightens right into the generator, but I put a nut on the back side to tighten up against the back just so that it doesn't ever pull out of there. I don't want to end up damaging the threads in the generator. Let's see how it does. Let me pull the plug so it doesn't start up. Plug wire. You ready? It's a really unique setup on this machine. This is an old Delco Remy. It's a uh, like a starter that was in an old V8 Chevy engine. When you put power to it, it'll turn the engine over. You take power away from it and spin it, it generates power. So it starts the engine and charges the battery, all in one unit. Let me just see that turn over one more time. You know what, let's just leave that plug wire off of there until we're completely done with everything. And put that back in gear so it doesn't end up rolling me over. that's made for a Chevrolet V8 engine has no problem turning this thing over. <laughs> While you're right here, let's move you over just a little bit. I have to drop the mower deck. In order to change this belt, the mower deck is just so much easier with it off because uh, that shaft has to come out. So, there's a pin here that we pull out. Lift up a little bit. There's a, a 
hanger right there that drops out. Put that pin back in place so it doesn't get lost. Got a pin back here. Pull that one out again, take the weight off of it. I'm still on the other hanger, so I'll have to come back around. Uh, what I do is I put the mower lift all the way up, and then that'll hold that out of our way. Sometimes I'll pinch up there, but not this time. Before I forget again, put that pin back in place. It makes it easier on the other side because that shaft can slide right out. Cardboard down to protect my knees. This side's the same thing. Just got a pin there. Lift it up a little bit. Drop that link. And then on the back is the same thing. Pull the pin. Release the tension. Put that up in the air. Let's put that pin in there. Now, hopefully. Slip that belt out of there without having to remove this cover. Because the PTO pulley is way out here. Actually, let me bring you around so you can see this. Did you get dizzy? Can you see that? Not really, huh? Maybe once I get in the light, you'll be able to see it better. We have the, the PTO pulley there. And the pulley that this actually goes around is way inside. All right, what's holding us back? Ah, let's see. The engagement handle was hitting the frame. Now we can get it out around that pulley. And no, I put the guard back on. So I gotta at least take that PTO guard out. Because with it on, there's just not enough room to slip the belts by it. But I should be able to get them off and not have to take this cover off. Here comes the belt guard. This is the, the guard that keeps the belt on the, the PTO shaft. We're gonna put those bolts right back in here so they don't get lost. All right, now let's see if that belt will go off. <laughs> I have to watch out because that the clutch setup for the mower deck. Hmm, where am I gonna put that? Uh, it's on the load right now. Flip that over. Ah, with it flipped over, the pulley gets in the way. Sometimes it ain't easy being me. side for a second looks like it's ready to go four wheeling it does look pretty cool without the mower deck under it that mower deck's been under this though for this will be the eighth season mowing my massive yard all right let's start working on the deck Can you see that? This is what I meant when I said I had to muscle this thing around. Just about 95 pounds. <laughs> I have the, the mower deck standing on edge on top of the scale. The things you see when you get underneath. <laughs> it's got a piece of string stuck around there. This is 
that heavy outdoor string that I have. Gee, whose fault do you think that is <laughs> that was wrapped around there? <laughs> That's that old song, uh, got nobody to blame but me. When we flip it back over to change the belt, I'll show you the drive shaft setup. But for now, I'm going to go get a putty knife to clean off all this built up grass, and then I'm going to get the grinder and sharpen those up. Or at least put an edge on them. Let's make some noise. Let's flip this thing back over and change the belt out. The engine turns that shaft, and then the shaft connects to two gearboxes, and the gearboxes have the blades on the bottom. So, in order to get this belt off, we have to undo the shaft and take the shaft off. I'm going to reach around over here and grab some tools. This is so much easier to get out when I had a little C-clip in there. Now we take this E-clip off. We should be able to slide this over one way or the other. Oh, actually, oh, can you hear that? <laughs> There's a cat fight out in the woods. So once that the clips are off, the sleeve slides over. That's what it is. It slides over, and then the shaft comes right out. And now look at that. The belt is right out of there. But now, because of taking this off. I have to make sure that the blades are still in time so that they don't hit against one another. So let's flip it over. And oh, it's perfect. Nice, nothing moved. Because like I said earlier, these blades can hit against one another, they overlap. So watch, I'll show you. Let me see if I can actually stand this so that it'll stay. And if we put that screwdriver, let's put that screwdriver right there. You see that blade hits it. Don't move the screwdriver. See that blade hits it. They, they overlap so that it doesn't leave a, a space in between the blades. And so that the mower deck can go straight under the tractor instead of having to be askew like most of them are. Most two blade decks, they don't, they don't run uh, perpendicular to the tractor. They're, they're a little crooked. So we can put all of our clips on that I forgot were sitting there and all went for a ride. <laughs> Where'd the C-clip go? <laughs> wow, that's one serious cat fight that's going on over there. I should go check that, make sure it's not one of mine. Let's put all our clips back on first. Alright, 
Someday I'm gonna have to replace those rubber flaps too. I'm getting a little bit beat up. These are actually fantastic. They sweep off the deck, any debris that gets on top of the deck. And it also creates an airflow. So the grass clippings don't really hang around on this thing. All right, let's try and put it around. Let me get this out of the way. Because now we have to go back over to the tractor and have some more fun. I have to remove the belt guard that's up in there. Let me bring you in close so you can get a peek too. I got you off the tripod for a minute just to show you. That hole there is a an access hole to get to the bolt that holds on that guard right there so that I can get the drive belt off. I don't know if we can see it, if it's bright enough or not. This thing has a massive transaxle in it. All right, well, my camera's yelling at me that the battery's low, so I guess I'm gonna take a little break. All right, now that I'm out of the way, I'll show you what it was. It's just a a bracket that goes around the pulley. As you can see, when, when it's clutched, the belt hits it a little bit. That's only when you're push, pushing on the clutch. Got to get that off in order to get the belt off. Now, I should probably chalk these wheels with something so that the tractor doesn't roll away on me because I have to put it in neutral. Yeah, that'll work. All right, now's the fun time. I gotta get it off of that inboard pulley. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that or not. I'm actually gonna try this crazy wrench that my wife bought me for Christmas one year. it up quite a bit to put some wobble in that pulley to get the belt out around it yeah that one's kind of beat too not as bad as I thought it would be though that is actually still in pretty good shape I could have left that one on yeah no cracking oh well got a good spare Put that side by each. Again, the new one is a little shorter, but you can see the wear. See that the new one is deeper and it's a little wider. And if you notice <laughs> how stiff these belts are, these are not the flimsy little half-inch belts that are on most tractors. These are a, a five, in, five eighths of an inch wide belt on them. All right, let's put this through here. In around the clutch spring, we're gonna put it onto the engine clutch first. Oh boy. supposed to be. I don't even know if you can see this. I just got it without pinching my thumb. <laughs> Get that 
over the lift assembly up into that idler pulley. Now let's see if we can walk it onto the transmission. I can put that belt guard back on now. How did that go on? Do you remember? I think like that. Pushing this thing up. Idle the pulley is still loose on this. This one, you, I have to hold the underside because the belt guard is a, a pin that goes around the back. Let me get that on there. And it will turn when you tighten this. And that guard needs to be in just the right place so the belt doesn't fall off. Oh, this wrench makes me feel like I'm going to end up cracking my knuckles with the way it moves. Alright, well, the drive belt is on. The mower deck's not on it yet, so I'm going to take advantage of that and have a little fun. Because once the mower deck's on, you can't do wheelies anymore. Baby. That's enough fun for now. <laughs> yeah, even the brakes work pretty good. Those big tires, I can skid them to a stop. Or I can stop it gently if I want to. Alright. Oh, you know what I did though? I'm going to have to pull these other pins because I forgot to flip that around. probably be the only one that goes on that easy I'm actually gonna go around to the other side and put the other front one on first and I've seen that it's made my, my life a little bit easier in the past and I just unplugged the camera hang on a second USB ports they don't do very well dragging an extension cord Alright, let's get that front one on, if we can. And the same thing. I forgot to flip the linkage around so that it's going to the front of the mower. And once the deck is under here, there's not enough room to flip it around. Witch doctor's on on the radio. I don't know if you can hear that. He's been coming in off and on all day. so I can go out and mow tomorrow.
it's all back together. I'm gonna take it out tomorrow and cut my grass with this thing. I'm tired. <laughs> it was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. So I think I'm done for today. I've cleaned it off, replaced the three belts. It's good to go. Still looks pretty good, doesn't it, for a 10 year restoration? 10 years ago I restored this thing. And I have done all kinds of things with it. The detractor pulls with it. I used to have wheelie bars on the back. I've dragged stuff with the three point hitch. I've plowed snow with this thing. Let me back up. Let's get a good shot of that side. She's a beauty. All right, I'm gonna start it up and put it away. I'll put you over here so you can see it. We got neighbors doing all kinds of things today. I hear a lawnmower on one side and a chainsaw on the other. Look like you're going uphill. <laughs> 